opportunity. Thank you, EPCH and all the members here. Uh, thank you all the participants for taking out time to attend this. Uh, so before I start, I just wanted to understand what is the audience, uh, uh, what type of audience are there. So how many businessmen are here, if you can raise your hand. Okay. And any of you have taken any bank loans, anything? Okay, very few of them. Nevertheless, this will be an eye-opener and we will try to make it more participative. So, let us start. The question is, I shall try to guide you on how to save financial costs. How can you save your hard-earned money? This is the main prime objective which at times we forget how to, how to, how to achieve that and improve your cash flow. So if you are any of this below, if you are an SME or corporate who so have taken loans from banks, you are an ideal participant for this particular conference. Those who are looking to reduce the cost of borrowing, suppose you have taken money at say 10%, 11% and you want to reduce the cost of borrowing significantly, then I will give you some inputs which will help you to achieve that. And those who want to focus on their business, at times what happens, we see that bahut sare log apne bank ke they are so occupied in their banking work that they don't get time to focus on their business. So we will try to free them from their banking operations. So my promise to you is that by the end of this presentation, you will know how to reduce your banking interest cost by a significant margin. Second, you will be surprised to know that banks are overcharging you and probably 90% of people of us, we don't even know that banks are overcharging us. And if we come to know, how do we deal with this situation? That I will guide you. Bahut sare logon ko lagta hai ki hum log bank ke liye kaam kar rahe hai. Apne liye kaam nahi hai. Many of the promoters have opined this uh, thought with us. So we, we will teach you how to beat banks at their own game and work for yourself rather than the bank. So this is uh, just a brief about my uh, background which ma'am has already uh, spread over. So basically a CA and an MBA from IIM. Having worked with Access Bank, Coca Cola, and uh, experience in investment banking, private equity. So, I am a regular uh, speaker in various forums. I visit to different MBA colleges, IIT, I am the speaker and teach on financial topics and uh, matters. So, I have done deals in different countries, also three continents and nine countries. Uh, I am one of the panel members of IIM admission process as well. People are not even doing that. If you have any income, you have to bank interest cost. So what we have done is, we have done a survey of our clients and what we found is that in 85% of the cases, in 85% of the cases, interest charge was wrong. We, we assume that bank is interest charge or writing, that is our formal assumptions and conclusion. But actually fact is stranger than fiction. So in 85% cases, interest charge was wrong. Now wrong ka matlab hota hai ki either interest jyada bhi lag sakta hai ya kam bhi lag sakta hai. Agar 50-50 ho ya 60-40 ho chale ga. But in 90% of the cases what we found that bank was charging high interest. To this ek bank ke upar ek intention ke upar bhi doubt hota hai. 90% cases mein extra interest kyun charge kar rahe ho. So when we ask the SME, the SMEs are not even aware about it that they are paying higher interest to the bank. So this is something which everybody is paying. Like I said, 10-15 years ago, there were a lot of frauds in credit card bills or telecom bills. Same thing happens in bank statement if you don't check it religiously. In 90% of the SMEs even are not aware that they are facing this problem. So if they are not aware that there is a disease, then where will they go to the solution? First of all, you should know that I am a disease, then you should do it again. So people are not even aware that they are paying high interest to bank. So if I ask you, all those people who are having the, having uh, bank loan in their portfolio, when was the last time you checked the interest charge? Anyone sir, you have taken a bank loan? So when was the last time you checked? Uh, so again, second question, does he know how to check properly? Most of the accountant are not even aware. Is there a discipline on the organization? Maybe on a sample basis, kisi month hota hai, jab audit hoti tab hota hai, otherwise nahi hota hai. Maybe saal mein do bar hota hai. But what happens in the remaining 10 months? To us samayat check ho raha ki nahi ho raha. And is your accounts guy capable enough to do it consistently and religiously? It's not a test basis. Agar aapka kisi mein ne goof up hua hai, it should be brought to your notice immediately. 
So always you must find out what you are actually paying. So a simple quiz for you, for all the participants. Now I am just trying to show you the impact. Suppose you have mutual fund investment for 2 crore rupees. So you will be after your wealth manager guy, he has made a percent return extra lay out. How do you do it? You have to but suppose you have taken loan from bank 10 crore rupees or 20 crore rupees. उसमें थोड़ा सा कभी इंपैक्ट बहुत बड़ा इंपैक्ट होता है एंड वी आर नेवर बोथर अबाउट दोस थिंग्स सो लेट मी प्रूव दिस टू यू सपोज यू हैव टेकन 1% इंटरेस्ट इफ यू सेव 1% इंटरेस्ट ऑन 100 करोड़ लोन हाउ मच एक्चुअली यू सेव ओवर 20 इयर्स एनीबॉडी जस्ट मेक अ वाइल्ड गेस अगर आपने 100 करोड़ का लोन लिया है उसमें 1% अगर हमने बचत किया है तो साल का कितना बचत होगा 1 करोड़ रुपए तो 20 साल में कितना बचाएंगे हम लोग 20 करोड़ रुपए so this is the normal maths, but there is an eighth wonder of the world, which we call the magic of compounding. So we all know everything, but we don't implement it. So if you have 1% of your budget, then that budget is not for one year, it is for the coming years. It is not just a one year phenomenon. So if I save 1% today, it has a cascading effect. And that cascading effect will help you to save 57 crore rupees. सौ करोड़ की लोन बुक में बीस साल में आप संतावन करोड़ रुपया फिफ्टी सेवन करोड़ रुपीज आप बचाते हैं दिस इज ह्यूमन दस सो सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू शुड कीप एन आई ऑफ वॉट एक्चुअली यू आर पेइंग नाउ दिस इज द ग्राफ ऑफ दैट सो आई होप यू गॉट दी एसेंस ना कि पहला पॉइंट क्या है हम लोग अगर इंटरेस्ट चेक करें रिलीजियसली आप देखिए चांसेस आर क्वाइट राइट कि आप एक परसेंट ओन ऑन एवरेज साल भर में बचा लेंगे Do you agree with me on this or not? So, ये point कैसा लगा आप लोगों को? Okay. Second मैं आपसे पूछता हूँ. Let me tell you another story or ask another question. Suppose आप bank से loan लेते हैं. You give some papers to bank. Now, say any bank for that matter, SBI or HDFC, any bank. आप देखेंगे कि the same bank is charging two different rates or three different rates to different type of clients. किसी को 10 percent, किसी को 11, किसी को 9, किसी को what? Why is this differentiation? Anybody can say please. Why is this difference? Why is the same bank charging different rates to different customers? Rating. Absolutely, sir. Rating. Anything else? Conduct of the account. Very good, sir. So when you say rating, आम तौर पे हम लोग क्या सोचते हैं? Bank हमारा financial documents लेता है, profit loss balance sheet cash flow, उसमें एक ratio निकालता है, उसके हिसाब से जो आता है वो आता है. This is partly right. This is partly right, but this is not the complete picture. So what happens? Efficient. So the second strategy which I want to say is efficiently managing your credit rating, which the sir has clearly spelled out. So इसमें क्या होता है? दो तरह की rating होती है, एक internal और एक external. So when I say in external and internal, हमारे लिए दोनों external ही है. But when I say external, external means जब बड़े-बड़े कंपनी आपने नाम सुना होगा, Crystal, Ikra, Fitch, ये सब जब rating करती हैं, इनको हम लोग बोलते हैं external rating. But suppose आपके limit कम है। If your loan limit is less than 25 crore, तो आपको external rating करानी mandatory नहीं है। Okay, so in such situation, या आप भले 5 crore का भी loan लेके रखे हैं, in all types of loan internal rating is mandatory. And what I mean by internal rating is internal rating done by the bank themselves. So bank जब आपका documents लेता है, वो financial parameters के अलावा, they also look at multiple other parameters which I shall be discussing now. So, external rating में क्या होता है? For SMEs, if your loan limit is less than 25 crore, rating is not mandatory. So आप का अगर loan कम है, तो आप bank से insist कर सकते हैं कि यार मेरे को external rating का खर्चा क्यों करूँ मैं? There is no need to do my rating unnecessarily. Second, foreign banks वगैरह या private bank उतना force नहीं करते rating के लिए, thereby it saves your time, effort and energy. And Sometimes अगर आप rating करा भी रहे हैं ना, it is very important that you should get an investment grade rating, triple B and above. अगर आप उसके नीचे आता है rating, तो इससे अच्छा आप rating मत करो। If you get a non-investment grade rating, that is more harmful than getting not getting rated at all. So I just explain this. This is as per Basel three norms. अगर आप देखें यहाँ पर, if you are triple A, double A, A, the numbers are twenty, thirty and fifty. Now just a small technical thing which I will highlight here. There is a concept called capital adequacy norms. How many of you are aware about capital adequacy norms of banks? Okay. So, uh, I just touch in brief. Aam toh pe bank jab loan dete hai, so rupay ka, unko khud ka apna paisa leke aana padda hai. 
So let's assume 10 percent is my capital adequacy ratio. So if bank has own funds of 10 rupees, so 90 rupees of market se borrow kar lenge and 100 rupees ka loan de dete. Now the Basel guideline says ki agar aapki client ki rating triple A double A hai, so you have to just give 20 percent of 10 percent. मतलब आपको कम कैपिटल लगाना बैंक को टू लेंड सेम अमाउंट ऑफ फंड्स तू दैट कॉर्पोरेट बट इफ यू आर अंडररेटेड इफ योर रेटिंग इज डबल बी एंड बिलो व्हिच इज नॉन इन्वेस्टमेंट रेट आपको 150 परसेंट करना पड़ता ऑफ योर कैपिटल रेटिंग पे सी तो 10 परसेंट की जगह 15 परसेंट हो जाता सो बैंक को ज्यादा पैसे लगाने पड़ते हैं एंड इफ बैंक अगर ज्यादा पैसे पूंजी लगाएगा तो वो ज्यादा कॉस्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट भी बढ़ा देता आपका बट इफ यू आर अंडररेटेड देन ओनली 100 परसेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इट मेक्स सेंस not to get rated if you are not getting an investment period rating. That is the idea. Now, internal ratings, why is it important that the bank gives you? Because on your internal rating, you know how much you will charge the bank, what will be the cost, how much you will be the LC margin, what will be the commission expenses on your LCPG, how much collateral you need to give, whether it is 50%, 75%, 100%, how much it will be. So everything depends upon your rating. So basically, the entire terms and conditions of a sanction letter, all in all, depends upon the rating. So, this rating is what? Just as Sir has told, if you see, there are different parameters to be considered here. Industry risk, business risk, financial risk, management risk. Now, if you add up this, it comes to 90%. Now, Sir has said a good thing, conduct of account. So, conduct of account is also important. For that, we have 10% weightage, which I have not shown here. Now, what is this? हम लोग ये सोचते हैं कि whenever bank takes PL balance sheet वो खाली numbers देखके कर देते हैं ऐसा नहीं होता। The relationship manager और the credit officer he goes through your documents and वो आपकी company का पूरा history geography करके एक mapping करता है and give you marks से out of five आपको marks दिया किसी में two marks किसी में three किसी में four किसी में five and everything is subjective but इसका impact ये रहता है कि your final score if it is higher your interest charge will be lower. But none of the SMEs pay heed to these things. उनको अपने business को कैसे अपने आपको project करना towards banker that is an art. So you have to speak very very solid points in front of the banker. So जैसे industry risk है, उसमें demand supply situation, government policies, competition ये सब बहुत important रहता है. तो as an owner you may ask कि sir मैं industry तो मेरे control में नहीं है मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ इसमें? Am I right? So I'll give an example. We had a real estate client. Who was more into luxury segments? Unfortunately, just before COVID, uh, luxury ka demand thoda kam tha. So he was not a, he was boasting. The banker se baat hoti thi, wo apne luxury projects ke baare mein baat karte the. But banker was taking that with a pinch of salt. He was not deriving confidence because demand utna acha nahi tha. Then we told him, why don't you highlight your MIG and LIG projects? Even though it was small in number, but let's highlight that and show more towards that. So, industry का जैसा भाव रहेगा, उसके हिसाब से you have to present your business model to the banker so that he gets swayed and give you better credit rating. So, similarly product risk, distribution, like आपका distribution, आपके customers, आपके suppliers कितने अच्छे हैं, वो आप खाली video testimonials लीजिए, you take video testimonials of your customers and suppliers and show it to the banker. So, when you do that, that has a profound impact on the banker. So when he does rating, instead of giving you two marks, maybe he will give you four marks. And there is a saying that boom boom se ghada bharata hai. So you get four four points in ten years. Dhe dhe karke instead of sixty marks, you may get up eighty marks, which in turn will help you to reduce your cost. Okay. Similarly, financial risk and management risk also. Now, most of the bankers complain that SMEs are promoter driven. It, there is no professional setup. If the promoter does not come, then the business will be stopped. It is person driven, not process driven. So you have to show that there is a hierarchy, proper hierarchy of professional. Even if the promoter is away for one month, nothing will happen. There has to be a proper succession plan. It is not that anything is going to happen, the business will run smoothly. So if you present all these factors in front of the banker, he will derive more confidence and he will be more than happy to lend you further. Finally, your uh, management risk, which I have, how, how do you deal with the bank, uh, your payment cycle and so on. So, there are many key financial indicators which a banks look into. Like, a lot of ratios are there, which are in the same way, 40-50 ratios are there, but you don't need to worry about it. You just need to monitor the important ones, like current ratio. 
These are the numbers of the benchmark. It has to be 1.33. Debt EBITDA should be more less than 4. So, all other parameters are. This ratio, if you manage it, so it will help you to uh, present your case to the bankers smoothly. Okay. Shall I continue? Now, how to improve credit rating? ठीक है आपने बताया credit rating क्या होती क्यों important है but how do we improve that that is the question so it is not a one time exercise it is a marathon so we have to continuously be on it from day one secondly we have to deal change in our dealing habits with the bank we have to be more proactive more transparent with the banker कुछ भी problem हो या अच्छी बात है banks पूछने के वजह हम खुद पहले से proactive होके उनको बताएं so that they derive more confidence from us we have to ensure that whatever documents or information we are submitting to bank, it has to be right the very first time. As I know, we have documents that we have corrections. That portrays a very wrong picture about us. Regularly and timely compliance. All those people who have taken loan, there is always a way that somebody says that our head office is a senior person who wants to meet you. There is always a way that someone says, any borrower? There is a very low borrower. Because the when the head of office comes to R&B, they want to get their cream custom, which is good compliance, which is good business. So you have to get into that category, where R&M asks you, sir, is it available or not? My head of office is senior, country head, credit head, we want you to meet them. So you have to be eligible in that category, which can happen over a period of time. You need to review or structure your balance sheet in advance, before 31st March. आम तौर पे 31 के बाद हम लोग सोचते हैं, so this is the right time February and March कि how do we plan ताकि मेरा banking situation should become very very useful and it should not create an obstacle. एक बार number freeze हो गए, तब number freeze हो गए, we cannot do anything about it. But before that we can plan and take corrective measures and we need to monitor our key financial indicators and take corrective measures in advance. And one more thing, we should not paint very very rosy picture in front of the bank. क्या होता है आप आज रोजी पिक्चर दिए हो सपोज आपने कहा मेरा नेक्स्ट ईयर 500 करोड़ का सेल्स होगा एंड होता है 400 करोड़ बैंक आपको नेगेटिव मार्किंग देगा वाइल रिन्यू एंड नेगेटिव मार्किंग देने के बाद आपका कॉस्ट ऑफ फंड्स और बढ़ जाएगा बट इफ यू से कि मेरा साढ़े तीन सौ ही होगा एंड यू डेलीवर फोर हंड्रेड बैंक विल गिव यू एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट दैट दिस गाइज प्रोमिस लेस एंड डिलीवर मच मोर देन दैट दे बिटेन दर एक्सपेक्टेशन ओके सो ऑलवेज प्रोमिस लेस एंड डिलीवर लो टू द बैंक दैट इज द मंत्र Third, plan appropriate structure of credit limits. This is very very important. Let me give an example. We had a client, have a client, not had. We have a client who is into manufacturing of katha. Pan me jo apne katha lagate, wo unka bada manufacturing. It is one of the oldest and largest in the country. Now, aam toh apne katha sunti aadmi ek dimaag mein tobacco aata hai. It's a negative ye sab cheez. But katha aur tobacco ka koi relationship nahi hai. Katha is an Ayurvedic sort of product, agri product. So banks were little reluctant to charge him and they were charging higher interest जी तो कल लेवल भी देता था। हम लोग ने उसको पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट को घुमा दिया। इसको हम लोग ने एग्री का प्रोडक्ट, इट इस एन एग्रीकल्चर का प्रोडक्ट का था। उस तरह से प्रेजेंट करने से हमें बैंकिंग में बहुत फायदा होता है। कैसे होता है मैं समझाता हूँ। See bank जब लोन देते हैं, so there are two types of sectors on which they lend. One is called priority and another is called normal sectors. Under priority we have agri and non-agri. Now why this classification is important? As per RBI norms, it is mandatory for banks to give them to give forty percent of their loan in priority sector. मतलब mandatory है bank को देना। अगर bank नहीं देगा, तो lot of penalisation is there. And banks के पास अच्छे proposal नहीं आते हैं on priority sector. So bank is hungry, rather more than desperate to lend in priority sector. And even in priority sector, अगर आप agri से हैं, eighteen percent is mandatory. And if you are non non agri, then twenty two percent is mandatory. So what happens? If somehow you come to know that I qualify in priority sector, so you have won half the battle. Your 8% rate of interest has become higher without doing anything. Just by virtue of being a priority sector client, your 1% rate of interest is automatically reduced, which may very very few people are actually aware about this concept. So it is important that you portray yourself properly. Second, हम लोग सब जानते हैं there are two types of loan, fund based and non fund based. Fund base में भी हम term loan and cash credit and non fund base में भी हम LCBG. This is the standard definition. Now, if you suppose आपके working capital limit is example hundred करोड़ अगेन I am taking example 
एंड यू आर यूटिलाइजिंग ऑन एन एवरेज से 70% तो इसका मतलब 70 करोड़ रुपया तो आपका यूज हो ही रहा है साल भर कम व्हाट में कभी 70 होगा कभी 60 होगा कैसे बट एवरेज में 70% यूज हो रहा है सो व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट कॉल्ड WCDL हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर अवेयर अबाउट WCDL ओके सर सर सीम्स टू बी अ बैंकर सर यू सीम टू बी अ बैंकर और और एन एक्सपीरियंस वन सर एनीवे सो डब्ल्यूसीडीएल में क्या होता है सो डब्ल्यूसीडीएल एक्ट्स एज अ सब लिमिट ऑफ कैश क्रेडिट इसमें आपका रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एनीवेयर फ्रॉम 25 50 पैसा से 1% तक कम हो जाता है सो यू टेक लोन फॉर 30 डेज 60 डेज 90 डेज विद अ फिक्स टेन्योर एंड फिक्स कमिटमेंट टू द बैंक दैट आई विल बी यूजिंग दिस मनी सो बैंक इज आल्सो अश्योर दैट योर फंड गेट्स यूटिलाइज्ड एंड बैंक गिव्स सम कंसेशन ऑन दैट ओके सो दैट वे यू आर एबल टू रिड्यूस similarly in lc uh, there is a concept called ccf again as per rbi guidelines a concept of the credit conversion factor to jab bank aapko 100 rupees loan deta hai in form of cash credit uska 10 rupees block rehta hai maine jo pehle example samjhaya capital adequacy mein but if bank is giving lc worth 100 rupees to 10 rupees block nahi hota bank ka bank ka block hota hai 20% of 10 rupees which comes to 2 rupees only so bank ka actual paisa is lower amount is blocked and hence bank is in a position to pass on that benefit to you provided you are aware and you ask bank for it if you don't ask bank will never pass on this benefit to you so if you are availing lc and if you are availing cc these are two different things these are not the same thing bank bolega ki ha same hai dono but if you have to say no your credit conversion factor is much lower in lc so can we pass on that benefit to me and hence you can negotiate and extract better rates from the bank so the fourth strategy is proper negotiation tools you have to negotiate very strongly with the bank if you don't negotiate bank will never give you any benefit so that negotiation has to be you should know of your strengths and weakness negotiation has to happen ideally on day one when you are onboarded with the client jab aap sanction letter milta hai bank se most of the customers they do not read the sanction letter they just see two things what is the loan amount and what is the interest rate and they blindly sign the sanction letter without understanding the terms and clauses many people do try to read but there are a lot of jargons so it becomes difficult for them to understand so what we say is you need to understand your own strengths and weakness secondly you should have your uddyam aadhar in place that is very very crucial because there are a lot of benefits with, uh, if you are having uddyam aadhar bank cannot charge pre payment penalty there, there are some concessions which you can avail so these are some basic hygiene factor which we should explore while taking loans from banks uh so the most of the smes worry about prepayment penalty because in, in case they change their bank bank charge heavy prepayment penalty so one way to avoid this is through negotiation and taking with them other certificate last point i would like to highlight is how to improve key financial indicators the ratio which i spoke about there are many ratios how do we improve those ratios okay so let me give an example many a times in business promoter invest their own money and they take some loan from banks and if there is any additional requirement they give unsecured loan to the business am i right sir unsecured loan is a very common phenomena now most of the promoters show this unsecured loan as a loan in the balance sheet now wo loan dikhane se kya hota hai aapka debt equity ratio badh jata hai it becomes unfavorable and consequently bank will charge higher rate of interest to you because of the debt equity ratio thoda hila hua hai so some smart borrower what they do is they show unsecured loan as quasi equity quasi equity means it is my own money it is treated as equity but it is shown as loan in the books so banks also understand and agree to that but un log pura sa benefit nahi dete only a portion of this money is considered as equity rest is still considered as loan so this is so i would say 80% of the people follow method 1 the box 1 and maybe 10% people follow box 2 but there are smarter people in the universe which we normally guide them to do smarter borrowers adopt a different strategy altogether what they do is they know that banks consider only a portion of unsecured loan as quasi equity and rest is considered as debt so what do they do so unko pata hai ki agar ye paisa 3 4 saal 5 saal business mein rehna hi hai why not treat it as equity to equity karne ke liye kya karte hain wo log wo usko long term equity dikhate hain and equity mein you need not pay interest to the uh, loan provider so your balance sheet improves the company ki balance sheet improve hoti hai second aapko agar personal file mein income lena bhi hai you can get it to buy back 
So maybe after four years, five years, when you have funds, you the loan provider can buy back, get into buyback. The company can buy back the particular loan, and that is tax free in the hands of the recipient. So you also save tax on that. So there is no tax on buyback. So so individual के हाथ में जो इसको interest मिलता था personal file में, they instead of getting every year interest, they get capital gain at the end of fourth year or fifth year, and which is tax free in the hands. So very very few people are actually adopting the strategy to do this. So we can plan by which is tax exempt. So if I summarize my saving, this is the magic formula to save 30 percent interest cost. First is you cross check how much bank is charging. Cross check that religiously. इसको करने से आप 1 percent का saving 10 percent आज आपका आराम से आ जाएगा. Managing the credit rating because you have to portray different parameters which I explained. उसको करेंगे प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चरिंग ऑफ क्रेडिट लिमिट्स प्रॉपर नेगोशिएशन एंड इंप्रूविंग के एफ एस इफ यू अडोप्ट ऑल दिस फाइव प्रॉम स्ट्रेटेजी यू विल बी एबल टू सेव ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी परसेंट मिनिमम मे बी मोर देन दैट एट टाइम्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वॉट इज ऑर एक्सिस्टिंग कॉस्ट ऑफ ऑर अगेन टू समराइज वी हैव एक्सप्लेन यू आई होप इट यू फाइंड इट फाउंड इट यूजफुल वॉट एवर आई टोल्ड फाइव स्ट्रेटेजी वॉज इट मेकिंग सेंस सर एनी बट इट यू लाइक इट So what we have done, sir, all these five strategies and there are many things more which you can adopt by yourself. But parallelly, what we have done is we have developed a digital and automated tool which is first of its kind globally, not just in India. It is globally first of its kind. The product name is Bank Keeping, which we have just launched in 2023 only. I'll just give you a glimpse of this Bank Keeping. It's just a one-minute video. Take anywhere from one hour, two hours to even two days. We have developed a software. Any bank, for that matter, any bank statement in across 50 banks. I will just upload that statement, and within less than 30 seconds, my system will calculate by itself and tell you whether bank has overcharged you or not. Within less than 30 seconds, there are a lot of automation tools in it, like banking compliance calendar. Whatever task need to be done uh, of banks, all that is. Uh, Being plotted in a calendar and being tracked religiously, and all the compliances happen timely. Data about your competitor, what the competitors are doing, all these are captured in that uh, software. So we wanted to show you the demo of the uh, bank keeping product, and you would love. There are many features in that bank keeping, and uh, uh, so you can scan this QR code and book your slot. And if you want, I can just play a small video which will give you an idea. Let me just go through our website and just note this. Just a second.
यदि आपको लगता है कि हम आपके साथ काम करते हैं so this is a short video clip free it will take about an hour and you can book as per your own time slot it will be on online only so maybe any you can just scan and then uh, you will be given different choices as per your convenient choice you can book the slot and explore the demo by yourself so this is a unique product which has been developed and uh, uh, i am proud to say that we have been approached by private equity fund to invest into this uh, it's in a nascent stage but uh, we have good very very good traction about the opportunity so any questions i will be happy to address and before i end just one more thing so anybody who signs up for free demo today we are giving a wonderful gift we shall do your interest checking of free of cost whether bank has overcharged you or not we shall be cross checking and that letting you know and we will not charge any single penny for your latest month suppose whatever is the latest month maybe january we will do free of cost is that good enough or shall we make it more attractive okay dil mange more so we we'll do it for last two months okay and to make you more happy we shall do it for last three months absolutely free of cost so that you can know whether bank has actually charged you more or not it will be an eye opener for you Believe me, 90% of the cases we have found lot of discrepancies, and more so with PSU banks. Little less in foreign bank, but more so in uh, PSU. Private, it is a mixed response. The likes of HDFC, of course, there are issues, but predominantly, I would say, more in PSU banks. Any questions? I'll be happy to answer. I think people will need the QR code. Yeah. Bring it back to that. Sure. जी सर वेल यू आर रियली वंडरफुल थैंक यू सो मच सर बिकॉज आई एम इन बिजनेस फॉर पास्ट 40 इयर्स आपके जैसा श्री पहली बार मिला है थैंक यू सो मच सर सो नाइस ऑफ यू अनफॉर्चूनेटली आई एम फ्रॉम कैलकटा अगेन बहुत ही अच्छी बात है यू आर फ्रॉम यस सर सेंट जेम्स कॉलेज जी ये जो आपने कथे की बात करी आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडियन रूट प्रोडक्ट्स यस सर मोटा जी कंपनी जी 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 कुछ सवाल है प्लीज आपने मुद्दा तो बहुत रेलिवेंट खड़ा किया है एक तो जो एक्सटर्नल रेटिंग वाला काम है हमारे क्राफ्ट इंडस्ट्री में सबसे बड़ी समस्या ये है कि वो हमारी इंडस्ट्री को ऑटोमोर इंडस्ट्री या अदर इंडस्ट्री की तरह डील करते हैं ओके तो हमारे जितने भी मेंबर्स हैं उनकी रेटिंग कभी इंप्रूव हो ही नहीं पाती एक बात दूसरा ये सारी जो स्टडी करते हैं डेस्क करते हैं इंडस्ट्री विजिट ही नहीं करते तो जब तक वो इंडस्ट्री विजिट नहीं करेगा समझेगा नहीं उसको ट्रेड साइकिल वर्किंग साइकिल कुछ पता नहीं एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वो रेटिंग क्वालिटी हमारे इंडस्ट्री मेंबर्स की इंप्रूव होती नहीं है मैंने सिविल से और ये रात के बहुत सी कंपनियों से आरबीआई से भी बात करके कम से कम इतना करवाया कि ये फैक्ट्री विजिट करें इंटरप्रोन से बात करें समझे क्या बिजनेस है उस मामले में आपका सुझाव अगर और कोई होगा तो हमारे मेंबर्स को फायदा होगा दूसरा आपने जो बोला इंटरनल रेटिंग तो बैंक वाला अपने आप करता है वो तो बताता तो है नहीं कुछ एब्सोल्युटली राइट सर सो दैट दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम सर हम लोग इंटरनल रेटिंग को डिस्क्रीट वे में इन्फ्लुएंस कर सकते हैं so when we show our succession planning when we show our corporate hierarchy when we show our customer video supplier video ab jab wo rating karega uske dimag mein ye sab thoughts rahenge ye already feeded in his mind so next time jab wo rating karega instead of giving you two marks maybe he will give you three marks or four marks and there are almost 100 questions in it wo abhi kya karta hai sme mein dhyan deta nahi yes 20 40 sme se example ek rm ko 40 sme ko handle karna wo sabko barabar treat karta hai but if it is a large corporate usko specific dhyan de jata hai so we have to qualify and upgrade ourselves so that we make an impression or a perception in his mind that we are different from other handicraft manufacturers tab wo kya kare aapko rating seriously dega aur acche rating dega which in turn will benefit your cost of interest aapki baat sahi hai lekin aisa hai wo hamare sath sabse badi problem hai suggestion to har subject pe bahut aate hain ji lekin practically achieve karna ek bada samasya wala kaam hai ji sir main aapko ek ya do case bhejunga ji आप उसका सोल्यूशन करवा के दिखाओ 
सर मैं एग्जांपल देना चाहता हूँ आई एम श्योर लेकिन चीज द चेयरमैन वी हैव रिसेंटली रेस्ट प्राइवेट इक्विटी फॉर हिम आल्सो सो हम लोग इनका प्राइवेट इक्विटी रेज भी करा है सो यू हैव टू पोर्ट्रे योर केस वेरी स्ट्रांगली इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बैंकर और प्रोस्पेक्टिव इन्वेस्टर इट ऐसा नहीं है कि जैसे देयर आर वेरी गुड कंपनीज सर एब्सोल्युटली सर वी आर विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू डू दैट सर अच्छा दूसरा आपने जो बोला अगर किसी की बैलेंस शीट कोविड के टाइम में लॉस में आ गई जी हां वो दो साल लॉस में चली तो वो तो फंस गया जी उसकी रेटिंग इंप्रूव हो गई नहीं कंटिन्यू करिए सर जैसे आपने बोला मोता जी का कोविड में सब की लॉस में 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 80 
हर प्रॉब्लम का अलग अलग होता है वट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इज राजली फॉर सी सी एंड टर्म लोन एक्सपोर्ट पैकिंग क्रेडिट में हर बिल अलग अलग होता है सो हर बिल का हमें कैलकुलेट करना पड़ेगा तो दैट विल नॉट हैपन विद इन थर्टी सेकेंड बट सी सी वाला जो कि मंथली होता है सीसी वाला हम करते हैं टर्म लोन वाला करते हैं हाँ सीधा काम तो देखिए सर मैथ से एंड होता है बट हाउ डू यू डू इट स्मार्टली बिकॉज अनफॉर्चुनेटली सर इवन सीधा काम भी लोग नहीं कर पाते हैं जो बेसिक सिंपल काम होता है वही नहीं करते हैं लोग
with industry and institute interface to capability and development and the recent being the Kolulin vertical. And the impact is that we help SMEs and the entire industry on ways to organization resilience, starting from the strategic direction to the organizational skill enhancement and working on the strengthening the processes and people development, the technology interface, the digital technologies which are upcoming, introducing them to them, the financial management improvement and all. So these are just some of the strategies through which we can work out the cluster development, the mindset change, the risk uh, mitigation, the financial management. Now defining the cluster approach which is our USP, it's primarily a group of 8 to 10 companies which come together with a focused goal of improving their competitiveness or enhancement. And these clusters could be in any form. This could be an OEM supplier based cluster also. This could be a homogeneous cluster, say industry from a similar product profile or a heterogeneous one also or in a particular geographical cluster also. So the motto remains getting together, learning together and achieving together. Now how it is done? These are the steps how that uh, acceleration is provided starting from strengthening the ecosystem going on to an advanced manufacturing then to the zero effect and then to the next gen manufacturing these are just a snapshot of uh, the impact that we could create over the years uh, having served in 355 plus clusters and having impacted uh, 5400 plus companies and with all the broader aspects on which we have uh, helped the industries in space saving, the energy saving, the customer complaints, etc. Just as uh, some of our success stories, so this is the, uh, this is a cluster which we did in Ludhiana and the cluster participants could achieve the savings of around 15.45 crores. Another success story, uh, this is a Jalandra Hanton industry, again SMEs only. Uh, where we could uh, achieve very good results and the turnover of these companies is also not quite uh, that much big it was really from 10 to 5 crores only. Again the OEM supplier vendor uh, the cluster thing which I was talking about so this is one example of the JCB suppliers cluster where the savings was 3.14 crores and these are just uh, other benefits how they have uh, improved upon customer complaints, customer returns, fiber scores, employee environment, space saving, etc. The various uh, There is just uh, one success story. Uh, this is a company called uh, Career Engineering, a Faridabad based company. This was part of uh, that GCP cluster only and uh, they took our services, uh, repeat customer also. They, work with us through level 1 also, through level 2 also, through various intervention and the impact was very huge. So, they have been taught on various approaches of DWM, 5S, the red tag, identification, the 5S score has improved considerably. And this is the one gram saving project that we implemented and which resulted in a saving of 24 lakhs. So, these small improvements can make huge differences. The conclusion being around 88 lakhs of savings was because of the license that could be implemented throughout that journey. And there have been cascading effects because that company could achieve a global quality award from class Group Germany and this was the first company, the first non-European company to receive this award. Uh, some of the clusters that we have uh, supported like the textile, the goods and supply cluster, the GCB, we have done multiple things in Z also. Now how it is done? It starts with the cultural transformation and then the focusing on quality, cost, technology and sustainability and leading to competitiveness and the approach is that it should be an enabler to growth and profitability in market expansion. Another vertical of our center is the energy efficiency services. So we could, so we have already trained more than one lakh professionals on energy domain, and three lakh fifty thousand plus energy audit hours, like the exposure of our 
professionals who plus innovative technology to supply innovation that will be facilitated by our center. Another important domain is the HR management because that is the human capital and that is the basis of any organization and we do support SMEs in that front for people development for implementing the professional HR systems in the organizations. Uh, this is a new vertical pollution management. So CI has taken up this as a ball, as a national mission or as ball of pollution. Because 20 plus pollution audits have already been conducted which have resulted in a saving of 22 million savings. And now this has been growing like anything. Learning and development for the industry. Uh, we have already trained uh, more than uh, 1 lakh 60,000 workforces in various domains of quality, cost, HR, plus there have been also recognitions also, like awards and competitions we have been doing, promote the industry. And there is a different set of programs for top leadership separate for operator, SK development, frontline manager, so different set of uh, initiatives are there. And there has been industry institute interface also, so we are helping the working professionals to improve upon their education also. So these are some of the courses that we have working with higher institutes of uh, like IIT Rupert, Thapa School of Management and Thapa University on manufacturing, corrosion and energy. And to aid the working professional, these are virtual, totally virtual. No physical interface, it's a totally online courses which will be having sessions only on weekends. It's just a brief of uh, the manufacturing excellence because the third batch is about to begin. Uh, I think in the next 20 days or so. Again, this has got a, the participants have been from managerial level to the top management. From SMEs, the top leaderships have been engaging in this program like anything because they get that professional outlook which they were missing. Because there have been generation, the first generation or the second generation that have been involved in it. These are some are brief of the various topics on which we train the company. I mean, the list is too big, but this is the company, the very brief list only. Starting from lean to uh, EI to 5S to integrated management, inventory management, then to chain management. <coughs> Uh, this is a special program. In fact, uh, you would have already received a handout of same also. This is a partnering in business with Germany program. Uh, this is a specific program which actually handholds the Indian companies who are looking forward to doing any kind of business with Germany. So it's a step-by-step -step approach and it's a very good if Germany is one of your focus markets. So interviews are actually lined within a week or so. The handouts are with you, so you can connect me later on if you want to know the details. Uh, coming to the main agenda, uh, this is what uh, this is a special initiative, the CI EPCH initiative, competitiveness acceleration of uh, for EPCH members. So this drive is there that EPCH members should be facilitated to rise their productivity levels. So there has been proposed that. We should be working upon uh, four to five clusters in areas like Stone uh, water, Stone Cluster, Agra, Glass Companies Cluster in Fidozabad, then Jodhpur, Sahalpur, Jaipur, Moradabad. So there has been certain discussions already ongoing. And in fact, last year there were some assessments also done. So to make it, uh, I think you will find it more relatable because these are some of the observations which came out from those assessments where the improvement scope is a huge. Like uh, these were some of the photographs, like the seating working, then spreading on floor, bending working, so again an issue of ergonomics, efficiency of work response, then the method of working, the machine maintenance systems, so that is lagging and need to be supported, then opportunity to improve five ways. Again, the material of flow, so material movement, material storage, improvement opportunities, there are a lot of opportunities there. Material jigs, pictures, dye storage, the so two improvement. Again, these are some of the other photographs. 
So unidentified parts, Egyptian gallery. So there is a mix of actually happening. And uh, there is a scope that these, everything could be uh, taken forward. Then absence of production schedules, mold resting, uh, not managed. So there is a Buddha, that is one of the concepts of three years. The recommendation like production schedule should be visible on the shop floor to give it a more professional look and it will become automatic then. And keeping WIP on shop floor the non-standard way, uh, they should be uh, WIP on the shop floor to reduce the rejection rate. So rejections otherwise are too much at risk. The machine maintenance sheet, the breakdown sheet and cleaning schedule of machines is not available, which should be there. Again, two is missing in all the areas uh, that were observed during that assessment. So shadow boards should be there for tools, etc. The trolleys again need to be modified according to their final usage. Again, uh, there was a missing of five S. One S, two S implementation is required in stores, etc. And the inventory management is not uh, up to mark on whatever the, we could observe. Again, sitting in working nature, which should be avoided. Then absence of production schedule on shop floor, the non-availability of PP matrix, packing standards and procedures should be there, which were non-existent. The presence of Modi at loading stations, and trade sheet to be made. Manual work for loading and unloading of chemical chamber, which can be converted into a trolley or rail system type. And multiple times opening of chamber doors for inspection is not required. And the absence of production schedule uh, that was not existent. And side panel machine can uh, be used in multiple parts in single go also. It is a broad observation, uh, like unwanted and uh, wanted material on top floor. And the QIP in many locations, a lot of MP on shop floors, space utilization was not proper, and zigzag material movement which could be avoided, and the machine conditions, their maintenance, etc., that was not adhered to. And during that assessment, uh, we had uh, some inputs from our energy experts also. So it was PF improvement, that air compressor pressure range were to be optimized, pumping, again, fan damper positions to be reset and stop clearing through compressed air lines. So there is a sudden recommendation uh, that came out. The methodology of our energy initiative, basically this initiative would be that to provide 100% clarity to the leadership through handholding, basically through GAMBA. So these are certain, this is our observation, these are certain uh, interventions that we could suggest in such type of industry, starting from fibers and visual management to PEI, to PAFB and tires and quality tools and pro manufacturing. So these are just uh, descriptive benefits, what could be expected out of these things, like from uh, business KPI management and human plans, and to improve the plant key indicators, again DWM will increase, and fibers and visual again, it is very important in any kind of industry. And PEI was PEI, uh, the number of thousands would increase, which will in, uh, help in reducing the absenteeism and the employees' contribution towards the businesses will also increase. And 3M and Kaizen, again, a very impressive tool which can help businesses in the sweat. And flow manufacturing that it will uh, help in job enlargement, the productivity increase, etc. 7 QC tools, this should be implemented. And for the, with respect to the energy efficiency, uh, the idea is that energy audits of the units should be conducted under the view of energy consumers and energy consumption with identification of uh, energy saving proposal and the MMP, the monitoring and verification. So just the broader scope of uh, such a cluster, what it could all cover starting with the audits, then the uh, training program, and ending with an m &D. And the training program would be covering and focusing on the boiler and stream systems, the air compressors, pumps and pumping systems, the cooling towers, lighting system, etc. 
And the final thing would be after the audit is with the energy assessment report. This is a descriptive order map of the energy assessment. And this is the productivity enhancement of the manufacturing excellence roadmap, starting from the basics of bi waste to waste management to TEI to integrated quality management to cellular management. So it's a one year long journey which could help enhance the productivity to multiple levels. And uh, how this cluster methodology works, this is just an indicative thing starting with the awareness session for the top leadership because it is driven through the top only. And then finalizing the potential companies and the assessments, the physical assessment like I have shown you certain pro programs, so we did certain assessments uh, last year. Then gap analysis and then, then a proper roadmap is formed according to the requirements, the acceptance and the launch. And uh, the agenda is to have certain cluster formation for EPCH members and uh, these are opportunities for energy audits and cluster formation and we are already in discussion uh, with EPCH for conducting certain awareness sessions for EPCH members. Thank you. That's Shri Vishal Sharma ji to kindly connect his memento and we thank both our experts for um, the excellent presentations.
So please uh, do keep joining us for our uh, knowledge sessions. We have uh, two again tomorrow. We look forward to having you as participants and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.